Okay. Here we go. It's been a while. Where do I start? It's been a long while. I think we're doing it. I think we're finally doing it. Focus. Stay focused on my face. You know, this should be a very easy video to make. I've made it three times now. Why did I quit YouTube? Why I took time off. Why did I quit YouTube? I guess I'm gonna tell you about why I quit YouTube. Is this the framing we want? Nobody shoots videos like this. This is not a good look. I think I'm gonna do it anyway. Fuck it. I'm gonna start over. Why did I quit YouTube? Well, very simply, I quit because I wasn't enjoying it anymore. I didn't like doing it. I started doing YouTube for the wrong reasons. I started doing YouTube because I had friends that were doing it and I knew that you could make money. That's it. Money's never a good reason to do anything. So if I can offer anybody any advice, make sure you're doing things for the right reasons. It wasn't making me happy and it wasn't bringing me joy. I was not doing anything that I wanted to be doing and it just burned me out. I wasn't making any videos that I liked and when I made a video that I actually enjoyed, it did terribly. So I ended up doing the challenges and I followed the trends and I hated every second of it. The smoothie challenge, the cinnamon challenge, it was all this huge put on act of just nonsense. Nonsense, it was nonsense. It was a boy chasing views and chasing likes. It was a young man that needed affirmations from strangers online to make himself feel better. And he realized that no matter how many affirmations he got, it wasn't making him feel any better. He was sad, he was hiding it, he was tired. He was tired. As far as I know, as an adult, I've been depressed. I've been sad. I have felt alone and unhappy. And I hid it. I hit it with a lot of laughing, a lot of jokes. How deep should I go with the depression? Should I go there? I would say go there, and then if you want to add it in, you can. And if, it's, if you don't, then you don't. <laughs> when I say I was depressed, a lot of people don't know the extent of it, even those close to me, maybe only a few. I was suicidal for a lot of years. A lot of years. I didn't see hope. I didn't see it getting better. I felt like I was in a tunnel and everything that I knew and loved just got further and further away. And between me and them was just a lot of blackness. So much so that there was a point where there was no light. It was just me in black everywhere I looked. God, this is such a weird thing that be sharing with everyone. <sighs> There'd be days where I would just have visuals of like a noose or blowing my brains out. I would go to bed at night and just imagine what it would be like for a guillotine to come down and chop my head off. <laughs> uh, I would be fine if I was around people. I could put on a mask and smile and make jokes and everything was okay. Everybody thought everything was okay. I made sure everybody thought everything was okay. There were a few people 
People who suffer from severe depression see it on other people. You see the Robin Williams, you see the Anthony Bourdain's, and you see the sadness behind everything. I feel like once you live it, you can't not see it in others. So, there's that. If you don't know, you get rewarded on social media for being obnoxious. You do. And I didn't want to do that anymore. I was 30 when I quit YouTube. 30. And I was still making videos for like a tween audience. And it was crushing my soul. I was playing the title thumbnail game. I was doing anything I could that I thought would get me views based around my demographic. It was a lot of backwards hats and sleeveless shirts. I put out a video every week for about six years. And to say that I like maybe 10 of my videos, I don't think would be a stretch. Also, I had changed, I had grown up, but my online persona hadn't. I was just being loud for the sake of being loud. I had this weird, sarcastic presence, persona, and I was tired. There's that quote that's been floating around. I was tired because who I was didn't line up with the avatar that I was portraying, and I needed a break. I didn't know the break was gonna be five years, but that's how long it took. That's how long it took for me to land on my feet and regain a sense of self and drop who I was before and find out who I am now. And I like who I am now, and I think that's why I'm coming back. I was waiting. I was waiting until I felt like me again. I was waiting until I found my voice. I was waiting until I wasn't needing from you. So I think that pretty much sums up why I quit YouTube. Why am I back? Well, why am I back? <laughs> I'm back because I'll never not want to create videos. Even when uh, during my time off, it's like I still would think about things in terms of sketches or I'd spitball ideas for shows or scenes with friends and that part of my brain will never not do it. So it's like, why not? I've gotten a lot of messages from people saying they missed me on YouTube, that I was a beacon of light for them. Well, fucking that's why I'm back, folks. To be a beacon of light, to help anybody that was in that place, get out to help anybody that is having a bad day feel a little better, to help anybody that feels like we're living in a hopeless world, to help them have a little bit of hope. Because life without hope fucking sucks. I feel like if I can come back knowing how out, how bleak I felt, then Fuck, anybody can come back. What am I doing now that I'm back? I'm creating videos that will hopefully inspire people to create the world that I want. Is that selfish? Maybe. Maybe. I want a world that gives a shit. I want a, a society that respects people and the earth and the environment. I want to create harmony. And I definitely couldn't have done that when there was no harmony inside my soul. And now that there is, I feel like I am finally in a place that I can help, that I can do this. So that's why I left. That's why I'm back. The only thing I have left to say is thank you. Thank you. I started doing this in 2010, which was 11 years ago. And um, if you're still subscribed and still watching and still following me on my journey of life, thank you for being a part of it. Somebody once told me the greatest gift you can give someone is to make them feel not alone. And if my videos have ever done that for anybody, then that's great. That's what they're there for. And that's what I've tried to do. And that's what so many of you have done for me. I'm gonna be making content that I wanna make. And if it doesn't do well, it doesn't do well. I'm not gonna ask you guys to like it. I'm not gonna ask you guys to subscribe. I'm not gonna be that YouTuber. I can't be it, guys. I think it's so dumb. I think it's so dumb. This is so dumb. I don't know necessarily what's coming, but if I can make you laugh along the way, great. If I can make you smile, great. If I bring uh, tears of joy to your eyes, even fucking better. Because the only thing that unites all of us is, is our emotions. 
Are you an eternal soul living the human experience? Because I think we all are, right? I think it, and I think we can make the human experience better. Let's make the human experience better. Justin James Hughes, making the human experience better. One video at a time. It's weighty. We don't, need, we don't need to put that weight on my shoulders. This might be a very boring channel, but it's just gonna be me living my best life, trying to do right by the world, and trying to be a better person every single day, a little better than I was yesterday. That's it. So simple. Wow, almost too simple. Feels too easy. Too, too easy. That's it, I'm back. Some people might be wondering, well, who's this old guy? Justin James Hughes, I vaguely remember him from more famous YouTubers videos. I don't know why he would come back at such a ripe age of 35, is that real? The man, how did he get so old? I remember when he was just 24. He was wearing tank tops and working out all the time and he spiked his hair in the front. Uh, he had weirdly overtly trimmed. <laughs> I tweezed my eyebrows a little too much back then. A little bit. A little bit. They're bushier now. I've changed.